Here on number six with cheese, we've been on a B-dubs burger or chicken sandwich kick the last four or five months. Had some real tasty ones. And today, Corey Wagner pointed out they got a brisket burger that I think we gotta try. So today, headed to a place that sells wings to eat a burger that I'm hoping wets my whistle. It's got some brisket. It's got, <laughs> we're going straight to flavor. Uh, see you guys there soon. I got it, Corey, I got it. Woohoo! Fresh off the grill. That's two Buffalo Wild Wings brisket burgers acquired jump cut. You guys like onion rings? I like wipe my hands and then the box and then my hands. Sick. That lady in there was not having the best day. Pandemic. All right, guys, here it is. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's open her up and see what we got. Ooh, a little unveiling process we have here. Look at that. Ooh, Vanna White. All right, and there's the bun Ooh, looking my good. Oh my God. This looks pretty good. So there's all the brisket on top. Comes with the pickle. Um, there's, looks like some of the uh, red onions I can maybe see a little bit in there. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, it's a messy boy. There's cheese, there's hamburger. We're gonna have to get rid of these bad boys. Peace be with you. And there's onions, more pickles, lettuce. This is very hot to touch. Yeah, it wasn't like down there yet for her to grab. She went up to the kitchen and got it. So Ooh, they must have up. like just finished it. That's what's up. All right, brisket burger, B dubs. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Bro, brisket's good. Yeah, it is. This is the type of thing I'm all about meat on meat. Meat on meat. Like a really already mm. aggressive meat, like a big old patty of dead cow. Then they go, hold up, get some of this shredded up brisket on here too. Dude, I like the crunch of that onion. Mm-hmm. Is brisket pork? No. It's more beef? Dead cow on treaded dead cow? Yeah, cow on cow. Cow on cow, dude. That's my favorite porn. Bro, this is amazing. This is really, really good. Like, really good. i try to show you guys on the big camera. Look at that. A casual, fast dining experience. This has got to be one of the better burgers in the market. Yeah, this is incredible looking. I mean, really good presentation. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this side. Oh my God. Like, I know it could spill everywhere, but I care about you guys, and I want you to be able to see how good this is. Yeah, plus I'm in your car, who cares? Well, I try to treat it like my own. <laughs> what do you think 15, 16 bucks for this? Worth it? Comes with a side. For me? Like, yeah, you think it's a good price? Oh, bro, yeah, this is a tax write-off for us. So yeah, <laughs> definitely. Holy smokes. Dude, this brisket. This is fantastic, dude. Like, not only is it awesome because brisket and beef, like, Hamburger beef together sounds great, mm -hmm. but they did a really good job. But like this is all staying really maintained. Like it's not all falling apart. Like reasonably, right? Yeah. Like Lily's bun is doing a great. Like I don't of feel it's gonna be a little messy. But, but it's like, like this should be slopping. It everywhere. should be way worse. You would imagine. Right? I'm very imp like look, look how thick that beef is. Dude, they make some big thick burgers. And this sauce on the brisket, like the barbecuey sauce, whatever's on oh, it, yeah. is so like sweet and tangy. I thought that was just like the oils from the from the brisket, but you're right. That is like a sauce. That's mm -hmm. tasty. Now, have you had any of the Just bis Brisket? Yeah, oh yeah. It's really good. It's just like good quality brisket. I tried just some of the brisket and I was like, holy smokes. Tender. That's like some dope brisket. Hey, B-dubs, nice job, dude. No, seriously. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, check it out. Mm. I ate all the way around the burger, so now I just have the nucleus. Oh, the center? Mm-hmm. Dude, bro. Dude, for fast, casual dining? Yeah. That's freakishly good. I'm very impressed. Like, I feel like, you no, know, we haven't done a ton of like, Applebee's and Fridays and stuff like that. But I feel like I'm f fairly f familiar with that world and I don't think that uh, that there's much that would match this. I agree. I think like, how would that mm. how would that compare to like a Red Robin burger? I oh, wonder? bro. It's got a killer. Red Robin is trash, dude. Yeah. <sighs> oh my God. I never really liked Red Robin. I always thought people that wanted to go there in my like high school friend group, they're like, come on, it's got, every, it's got bottomless fries. Who I go, cares? bro, I don't give a <laughs> shit. And their fries are trash. They're, they're the bro. worst they're steak the worst. fries in the world. Dude, they're so bad. It's so not. This would smoke. Dude, this is like, I'm going to say something a little controversial. <laughs> Hot take. Hot take. This is as good as a lot of high-end burgers that we've had in the Chicago local I street. hate that that's true, but you're so right. Like, that is really good. Mm. Try one of these. They're really good. Mm -hmm. Such a good breading one. on them. 
You gotta look through, oh my god, these are made to perfection. Gosh darn, bro. This, uh, so we got a bunch of gifts now. Our manager, Patrick Welby, who was just on our podcast recently, the Unemployables podcast, he's been making these dope gifts he puts on Giphy's. I think if you just search number six with cheese on there, what gift would you put on this? Can, can you remember the gifts that he sent over? Yeah, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Mine would be like the, and this is my favorite gift, which is maybe me, me, the reason I'm saying this is only because it's my favorite one. Yeah. The one where I'm rolling up the window and going, stop, stop, because this is just too good. Like, stop, <laughs> B-dubs, enough. Oh, I like that a lot. Go on Twitter, tweet at today's video with your favorite gift from Giphy. And uh, I'm just curious to see your favorite number six for cheese gift, obviously. I don't care about your favorite gift. Just like salt bag, you're like, that's not us. <laughs> You know who's gonna love this? Who? First bite reactions. Oh, yeah. Is Grant, Grant? Grant Fussell. Grant Fussell. From Michigan, uh, played softball and stuff with my brother. They're, they're pals. Oh, that we Gr Grant's a huge number six with cheese fan. He always posts on our Facebook yeah. gift reactions to these. Once he finds out about our gift, I think he's gonna oh, love he's gonna it. Oh, he's gonna love it, dude. Mm -hmm. Because that he always puts like what our reaction is on the first bite. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Grant, we love you, dude. Yeah, that's my guy. Speaking of shout outs, before we rate that burger, why don't we go ahead and do one? Mm. Or two. Vlog shout out, vlog shout out, vlog shout out. Uh, we got a vlog channel and it's pretty sick. I know we haven't been putting up a ton of content. It's really hard. We were trying to make it to be a, a like, it's kind of a channel about kind of Chicago and all the events that it has to offer and what we yeah. do outside of the food review channel. But we've been limited to basically only having the food review channel. Not being able to hang out with you really outside of filming the show is a bummer. It's such a bummer. So we do have at least one video Video that we've kind of planned out and directed. We try to put a little bit of uh, like back back end work on these videos. It's not something we just kind of like try to improv through. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure if that will probably won't be out by the time this video comes out, but we do have new content coming soon for that. It's called Corey and Sean. We're just a little over a thousand subscribers, which thank you so much for everybody who went over and subscribed to that. We really do, I think, put a lot of fun stuff on there. It's a little, um, I guess, more of a robust channel where yeah. this is like just really one single thing we eat food on here where that's just like really covering a whole plentiful um variety it's a more variety of of entertainment choice so if you want to check it out i think it's really fun yeah. i love it it's like one of my favorite things that me and sean do yeah uh it's Corey and sean you go on youtube and search Corey and sean and it will pop up probably after a bunch of clips um from the show boy meets world <laughs> <laughs> all right brisket burger consumed Rating right now out of five. They always have like PNGs of the cow that is like shows the parts of the cow. Like yeah, yeah, that's all cut up like the butcher's cow. Yeah, out of five butcher's cows, how many butcher's cows do you give the brisket burger? Just bumper hanging off that car as it's driving. Here from Buffalo Wild Wings, Corey Wagner. Um, so I was very distracted by that mangled car. Yeah. The only car on this road that's probably worse off than mine. That's probably not gonna uh, uh, pass one of those tests. Mm -mm. The emissions test. Mm -mm. Ah. I have some problems. Dude, seriously, that is an unbelievable burger. I, for the longest time, thought of B-dubs as only a chicken wing spot, and they are still my favorite chicken wings. And only from this channel have I started to discover that, like, B-dubs really does have some super dope food items outside of the chicken wing game. Check it out for sure, dude. That brisket burger is the truth. They also have a brisket chicken sandwich. Um, so that's another option you can get with the brisket. The brisket was really delicious. The burger was made right. It was all put together well. Dude, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm giving that a freaking five. <laughs> I just don't know how you could make a better like burger for like a national chain restaurant. I know, and that's a like, you know, with the range in their sides too of like having potato wedges or fries or tater tots or onion rings or salad. Like, I love that there's so many options to go with the burger too. Seriously. So I customized, I wanted some of that O-ring life mm -hmm. in my actions, in, in my action. Um, yeah, but look, smoked brisket burger, cheese curd burger, which we did. They have a black bean burger, a buffalo blue burger, an avocado, like their whole- Yeah, bro. Dude, good job, dude. I was so happy you said five because I was terrified if I would have said it and you would have skinned me alive. Yeah, it's a tough one to give a five to a burger for this spot, but. I'm only gonna give a five! Yay! Yeah, dude, honestly, of course anybody would want stuff to be less money, but if I went in there and sat down and had some beers and had that big old burger and onion rings for like 15 bucks, I'd be really happy with that. Yeah, bro, I feel like that's what you're gonna pay at all the other. You go to Friday's yeah, or 100%. Applebee's and get something with brisket and burger yeah. and, and a side, you're gonna end up, it's, 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 it's a reasonable price. If you're getting, you're getting that kind of Monte Cristo uh, sandwich from Bennigan's that's just like a deep fried ham and cheese donut, you know, you're paying 20 bucks. You're gonna pay some bones. 
I got that one time. My parents took me to Bennigan's. I was like, I'll get this. Oh, a sugary ham and cheese. Not my thing. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Thank you so much for rocking another weekday video here at Number Six with Cheese. As you know, 9 a.m. Central, new video tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna go, you know, continue loving the world and the sun in Chicago. Roll these windows down. See you guys.